Hey everybody, welcome. I am glad to have you here for our core on the floor. 10 minutes, front side, back side. We're gonna work the whole core, torso upward to make us feel great and strong. Join me with a standing warm up before we move to the mat. I want you to think about a squat with a little bit of rotation. Hands are up left, across the body. Nice, easy breathing. Looking great. We'll get warmed up with some dynamic movements so we can work through some activities of daily living with our core exercises. Two more on this side. Just an abbreviated warm up because we got work to do. Down we go. Other side, right to left. Knees point forward. Feel that rotation through our thoracic spine. That's the middle of our back. Good, two more here. Standing nice and tall, right leg steps back, arms step open, other side. Creating length through the front of the body and just a little extension through that spine. Four more here. Last one, turn this into a corkscrew. Left foot reaches, right arm reaches, same side. So our core or our body moves in different planes of motion, side to side, forward and backward, and we also rotate around an axis. So today we're gonna work on all those planes of motion. Two more here. Let's switch sides, right side. Think about your body like a corkscrew, it spirals up. Hip opens, we're opening up through the mid back. When we get to the floor, four exercises, a front, a back, a front and a back. Two rounds through, three more here team. Last one, find your way down. You don't have to have a mat, maybe you've got carpet, maybe you've got a hardwood floor. A mat's just for some comfort, not required by any means. Heels, press in. Shoulders, confident. We're gonna lift the hips. We're starting with the double leg bridge. Ready team, here we go. Think about a string pulling your belly button up high. Your hands could be down at your sides. Hands could be wide. We're articulating through the spine here. Work's really happening from the heels. Hamstrings and glutes are doing a majority of the work. Keep breathing. We're on about 45 seconds and then a short rest. So we're really working endurance here. Easy does it, those knees point forward. Hips are being elevated and then coming down again. Upper body's not really doing much. Breathing last five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's flip it over. You've got a plank, few choices. Typical plank, hands and toes. Maybe elbows and toes. Maybe elbows and knees or hands and knees. Timer's on, let's go. Things to think about in your plank. Do you have weight distributed evenly between your thumb, your pinky finger, your middle finger? Maybe you're really far forward and you need to shift back just a little bit. Being on your knees is awesome too. Think about your head staying in line with your hips and your spine. Keep breathing, we got it. Oh yeah. Over halfway there, team. If you're new to planks, planks are an awesome exercise for our core because it's really working endurance and stabilization, but you don't feel comfortable being on the floor yet, you can use a kitchen counter, the back of a piece of furniture. Last 10 seconds, how are we doing? Woo! Oh yeah. Four, three, two, one. We flip back to front side. Remember front, back, front, back. We've got what's called a V-sit or a spinal elongation. You're gonna find your sits bones. Tip it back until you feel that tightness. Hands can be here, hands can be here. Legs might lift. 
If you feel like those shoulders collapse in, open it up. Think about yourself like a superhero, because you are. Nice, broad chest. It's A-OK -okay to set both feet down, or maybe one foot down. Again, we're working endurance here. Front side of the body. The longer your legs, the longer your arms, the more work you got. Keep it coming. So you might be shaking. I'm shaking, that's okay. You know what that means? It means your muscles are responding. Last 15 seconds here. Good breathing, team. How you doing, how you doing? Oh yeah, remember, heels can always come down. I want that spine long, so if it feels like you're compromising, zip it up. Four, three, two, one. We are all the way down on our back. You're gonna use your elbows as anchors. We dip those knees to the sides. Here we go. Slow and controlled. So this is the third direction that our body moves. Forward and backward, side to side. And then we rotate around an axis or transverse movement. Now you can be excited that you got your exercise physiology word for the day. The longer you make those legs, the harder it's gonna be. And maybe not harder, just a different challenge. Knees can stay bent, but really use those arms as levers or anchors. Because even though this is core work, that whole body gets involved. Our core supports us from head to toe. Did you know it even helps with our breathing? So the stronger we can make those core muscles, the more efficient we can be at breathing. How's it going? 15 seconds. Woo! You might be feeling it in the hip flexors. For a lot of us, our hip flexors uh, kind of take over. They're kind of the like um, big brother helpers, but sometimes we don't want them to take over. We really want to think about that core work happening. Four, three, two, nice work. Roll it up, a little bit of a stretch if you need to. We are back, one more set of each of those. I'm gonna give you an option to make it a little more challenging if you want. So, back to the back side. Hips and glutes, heels are pressed in. Let's take a breath. Think about that belly button coming up. I'm gonna do two legs, but you have an option to do one leg. Let's go. Here would be your one leg option. I'll let you know when we're halfway done. So now, all of a sudden, all our body weight is on one side of the body. That looks smooth, great work. Couple more here, then we can switch. If you're on one leg, if you're on both legs, A-OK -okay too. We have a dominant side on each side of our body. And when we get to go single leg or single arm, then that other side gets to show off for a little bit. Here we go, you've got it. Breathing here. The farther you push your heel away from your body, also more of a challenge. So next time you watch this video, you can add in those modifications or additions. Here we go, last 10 seconds. Easy breathing. Four, three, two, one. We are over for our plank. We started, I started on hands and knees, or hands and uh, toes, you can be on hands and knees, you could be down on your elbows. If you want another option, how about a toe tap? 45 seconds, team. Or if you're on your knees, how about a shoulder tap? Or you might say, hey, Jen, I'm just okay right here, or right here. You are building the strength. You are building the confidence to walk taller, maybe move a little quicker. Keep breathing. When the going gets tough, we breathe. Check in with your face. Are you squeezing your eyebrows, gritting your teeth? Relax that face. You don't need to be wasting energy on that. Pull that belly button in. You got it here, less than 15. Keep it coming. Woo. Smile to yourself, you're doing an awesome job. A couple more seconds. Four, three, two, one. We beast it. Start here, roll it back, strong. Feet can be on the floor for sure. 
If you say, hey, I got this, here's your option. Tap, 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 tap. You got them. Four, three, two, one. We've got a final one. Come on down. Anchor those elbows. Power in the knees. Use that core to pull back up. Excellent work, friends. Last 20 seconds of work. We've got it here. You might want to couple this video with a cardio video or a strength video. Or this can be a perfect time to do this when you're short on time, but want to get a little sweat on and challenge that core. Six seconds. Three, two, gently roll yourself up. Excellent work, my friends. It's my pleasure to be with you again. My name is Jen. Thanks you for joining us for our YMCA virtual video today. We'll see you next time.